I once set fire to my house with a box of fireworks. David Mitchell's <laughs> uh, Was this on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was done out of ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> what age were you? I was somewhere around about seven. I want to know where you grew up, where a seven-year-old can buy a box of fireworks. I bought them in the shop where, near where I lived in Middlesbrough. It was a box for two and six of standard fireworks. That was the brand. <laughs> standard <laughs> brand. That sounds exciting. <laughs> standard fireworks. Yeah. A normal level of excitement will be intended. <laughs> <laughs> For a bonfire night, you will forget. <laughs> <laughs> but it says standard, but yeah. then it's... Do you and know that is it? standard for a firework. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in your home, yeah, and no, you're seven or eight years old. I'm seven, and I'm on my own, yeah. On your okay. own? Yeah, and what it was le what, on one of the fireworks, I think it was the sparkers, it said, not suitable for indoor use. Mm -hmm. Which, at that age, makes you think, ah, that ah. means they're OK. Could you just not read the word not when you were a brain? <laughs> <laughs> Did you think not was the brand? <laughs> <laughs> you go, oh, lovely. I, I love that not brand food. It's not for human consumption. <laughs> <laughs> no, that logic that says, well, people have obviously tried them indoors. Oh, they discovered just... they're not suitable. Yeah. <laughs> so therefore, I won't use them indoors because I want to live. <laughs> if you look at a big firework, it won't say not suitable for indoors. It's so it's obvious. Yeah. Right. But well, on not the sparklers, everybody. they chose to put it on. So what happened? I lit the sparkler. The, the sparks went into the box of fireworks, a standard box, <gasps> and set them off. And I carried the box of fireworks are now beginning to light into the kitchen, and I threw them into the kitchen. I thought it would be more suitable. <laughs> I think you're right. The kitchen of all the rooms is the most suitable for fireworks, <laughs> isn't it? it because is. of the oven, the gas, the it's... stove, there is fire naturally in the kitchen. Yeah, there's a lot of... And there's more, it's more wipe down, yes. Yes. less cloth. <laughs> so, so what happened then? They went off in the um, What kitchen. was the sound like? Was it bing? <laughs> <laughs> no, these were only standard. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, and, you know, I, can't, I remember, as I'm sat here now, um, wiping the scorch marks off the floor and thinking that my mum's going to kill me. Yeah. And so I'm going to be in big trouble. Then I went back into the living room, unbeknownst I... to me... Yeah. I dropped one. <gasps> and it was, the living room was completely engulfed in oh. flames. It sounds true that if you're on your own at home at seven, your mum's pretty laid back anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He said, son, will you sit here and look after these fireworks? <laughs> <laughs> Whilst I go out to the bingo. <laughs> <laughs> so, you lit the sparkler. A spark went into the standard box. Yes. The box starts to go, you go, uh-oh, I must get them into the most suitable room for fireworks. <laughs> yes. The kitchen. No need to go beyond the kitchen to the outdoors. Yeah. <laughs> Mum <laughs> said, don't go out. <laughs> At least one oh. rule in your house. <laughs> <laughs> what time of day did all this happen? This happened mid afternoon. Oh dear, so you didn't really get the benefit of it. Who got the fire out? I went to the next door where Miss Best lived. She was about, bless her, she was about 80. And I knocked on their door and said, My house is on fire. And she said, Do you know I thought it was? <laughs> 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 so what happened then? She called the fire brigade. They fired their water hoses. Throughout the house, yes, ruining it. Even the rooms Ru where there's not no, ruining, fire. Not, yeah. not ruining it. Yeah, you do know that before they put out fires, it's already ruined, don't you? Lee. You're making this house all wet. It was lovely and warm. Lee. Lee. And it's the water damage yeah. that knackers the yes. house. Which, Is it not yeah. the fire? Not the fire. <laughs> if they would use their boots to put it out. <laughs> Honestly, the entire house. That's it. I was in a. I was in a family of four children, and we had, we were homeless. <laughs> where were... Well, keep it light. No, I'm just saying. Where were all the other kids while you were alone with the fire? Why did you take three They were looking after fireworks you. in other people's houses. <laughs> 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 so when you say you were homeless, how much of the house did the inferno claim? It's gone. Entire house what, the gone. Whole house, whole house gone. Yeah. The whole house burned burnt down. Burnt down. So how much did you leave in the living room? 
The fireworks in the kitchen have only caused a few scorches. Yeah. What did you leave in the living room? And now, and now, don't you feel stupid for saying standard fireworks? Yeah. I tell Not you, really. Then, well, I think you were stupid. <laughs> they like a sparkler indoors. <laughs> if you don't know what you dropped yeah. in the living room, is there a chance that it's just a coincidence? No, it could be. <laughs> that it might not have been your fault. <laughs> That's what I said to the press. It's not your fault. <laughs> press? Who, what, what press? Who, who, who did you speak to? Local press. Because they, they came to the house while it was burning? Yeah, you know, they're, they're hats on, trilbies, <laughs> sniffing around. <laughs> <laughs> With those little bits of paper in the, <laughs> in the, in the notebook. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Were they called things like Scoop McLean? <laughs> <laughs> I believe it was called Ron Waffle. <laughs> Sorry, Ron so, Waffle. It was either him or the other ace reporter on the Gazette was John Caramel. <laughs> it was one of them two. Caramel and Waffle. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <I> mean, <laughs> the question is whether you think Bob has been telling the truth. Well, I, was, I thought it seemed very plausible until we heard about <laughs> Caramel and Waffle. <laughs> I think he thinks he's telling the truth, but I think what's happened at some point he's seen a film <laughs> in which this has happened. He saw backdrop and is now convinced <laughs> <laughs> that it happened to him. I think it's a lie. Vera. I, oh, I sort of. I was going to say I want it to be true, but that sounds really <laughs> horrible. <laughs> I, just, I think I don't. I think it might be true. Well, I think it's true. I think it's true. So you're going to go for true? Yeah. Okay, Bob. Were you telling the truth or were you telling? A lie. I was telling the truth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>